Ah, I think I know. Yeah, Adam Akogan. He's a good player. Okay. Let's go. This is pre-moving everything. That's nasty. Oh, this line. This is tricky. I don't really know what to do here. Queen c2, I suppose. Rook d1, maybe. This looks natural. Trying to to discourage e5. Now see if dc I'm not going to take back. I'm going to go bishop a3. And if cd cd it feels like feels like I have huge compensation. Yeah, so this is uh, it's clearly the better option. But now I'm getting some activity, I feel. Okay, let's just go play it the classical way. G five. Feels like I should be better here. I don't. I think F E was um, was a bit overzealous. He should have uh, thought thought a bit longer there. Since now he's investing twenty seconds plus, but it's a little late because his position is already very dubious. Maybe there was something better, but this looked very clean. Uh, maybe like queen b3 and then I don't even have to take on take on f6 because he cannot avoid the fork but there's no particular reason to to delay it so just gonna and yeah I haven't won any material but my positional advantage is uh, is overwhelming So after knight a5, I'm going to go queen b4, avoiding the trick, knight a5, queen d5, rook d8. When I table, when the tables are kind of turned, I have to go queen f3, in order not to lose material. But he really doesn't have a convenient way to defend b7, seeing as uh, rook b8, uh, bishop d6 was losing. Hmm, that's creative. Yeah, it was a that was a creative defense. Now, I still win a pawn, but not under as good circumstances as I would have liked. Yeah, this kid is fighting well. Now it's become a bit of a race, which is never really what you uh, what you dream of, but it feels like I'm way ahead. At least the way he played it. Now I always have uh, tempo with uh, bishop c5 attacking a7 and. Yeah, this just doesn't work at all. Okay, uh, she wants a rematch. Uh, would have been interesting, but I, I think I gotta gotta drive some other people. 